Good morning and happy Sunday, everybody. It's a brisk one. Woke up this morning to zero Celsius, 31 degrees Fahrenheit. And looks like the fog has burned off. We got some beautiful skies. All right, come on, pray. A little bit after nine. Got to get these guys walk. Got to get a shower. <clears throat> Video should be done. By that point, I can get it uploading. I'm going to head over to my mom's so the house can be quiet. Well, if any of you have the option to watch yesterday's log on a TV, hang on to something. <laughs> I will warn you, if you are scared of heights, <clears throat> that video may freak you out just a little bit. Watching editing last night, when we got back from our nighttime photo shoot, Tim came up and I was showing him what it looked like and it is bizarre because the wide angle on the camera <clears throat> it gives you a very very good idea on how narrow that pathway was and how close Priya was multiple times of sliding off the side of it because she's my little crazy dog she doesn't care about heights but uh, we had a few little minor as we always do you know, getting them to move, but, and some other dogs, but nonetheless, we, we survived it, so, <clears throat> don't get me wrong, it is, it is a beautiful, it is a beautiful place, it is, it, <laughs> I was only in zone five, I think, in my heart rate for eight seconds yesterday, Tim, on the other hand, was in it a lot longer, and he was actually warned by some friends or co-workers that, you know, you got to be very mindful of that because <clears throat> same thing happened at Kinzua. Um, you can actually get yourself nauseous and your body can shut down. <laughs> so we got to be careful when we do these things. Uh, he did question. He goes, how bad is Ricketts Glen? I'm like, mm. um, yeah, Ricketts Glen is a place I will never take the dogs again. I don't care if I have somebody with me. The dogs will never go back there. I'd love to do it again, but I have to do it just people. Alrighty, I told you it wouldn't take long and these trees would be naked, and they both are. Both of my favorite trees are already done and gone, and I think that one back there is like, I'm going to say probably 50, 70 percent gone. Let's look when we get around the corner. Maple tree is hanging in there pretty tight though. He's still looking colorful. Yeah, I don't know if I would honestly pull out that chest mount too many times. It felt like it was kind of crooked which I might have had a mounted crooked, so I kind of did it in a hurry. But, um, it's a good concept. I just don't know if for me it works too well. The main reason I did it was, I honestly, I just wanted to have two free hands because I had a feeling it was going to get more treacherous as we got down. And the one guy that said, oh, there's some steps, he, he did not fib to us when he said there's a lot of steps. If you would have said there's some steps, I would have called, I would have been like, he lied to us. But when he said there's a lot, coming back up them, that was no joke. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to film coming back up. It was just, it was too much. At that point, you had seen everything and coming back up <clears throat> wasn't, wasn't worth it. So, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. I know it's another one of those long ones, but it's a, it's a fun adventure. And honestly, I think the Action 5 gave you a clear picture of of the turkey path trail the other trail wasn't too bad the problem was it was covered in leaves and it was there was rocks under the leaves that you couldn't see and in spots it was just there's really not a lot of it's smooth dirt with leaves on top of it so it just becomes a little bit uh concerning that you're going to slip and the problem I was having with those Nikes is they are so old, I feel like the, the, tr the treads on them <clears throat> have gotten very stiff. And I felt like I had absolutely no traction with them. It was like basically just having hard rubber. Damn, this is a busy road this morning. I know it's going for like 9.30, I think, something like that. 9.23, well, I'm not too far off. Ooh, hand warmers need recharged. I have decimated them down to one dot on the battery, but <clears throat> so one thing I was, uh, Tim and I were talking cause, and I've mentioned this, the charging pack for the actions 
do not charge unless you have power to them. And just for kicks and giggles, I'm sh I figured someone had come out with one that actually was a charger. Like it charges them without power. Found one on e eBay and then I went on Amazon and there's another one that has like a 7,100 milliamp battery in it. Not doing it right now, but it's actually a better price. It's like 49 versus 69. And I did reach out to the person on eBay and they said, yes, it charges. I was like, you might want to put that in the description because it's not clear. <laughs> and what milliamp hour charger battery is in it. It doesn't say any of that stuff. But I don't know. I mean, I used the Telzin yesterday, which worked pretty good for me. Um, it did actually shut down at one point because the camera got to full power, so it shut it off and it didn't turn it back on automatically. I had to fire it back up, but I had no battery problems. So, <laughs> and... So I actually got a thing from my, oh, two things. So the doors have finally got a shipping number and they're not going to be here until the 14th of November. And the Fort Jordan has a delivery exception with DHL. It's sitting in New York City. I don't know, I tried to call and it just tells me it'll be out next delivery day on the automated system. But it keeps telling you know, it had me put my zip code in, which I know when I signed into DHL, it didn't have me do. But the entire address is on the order. I don't understand. I really don't. So I don't know what's going to happen. It's supposed to be here Tuesday, but I don't know if that's actually going to happen or not. In fact, I don't even know what my days off are this week. I know, I'm, I, know I work the weekend. I might have Friday off, but I don't know what other day this week I have off. So... All right, gonna let Princess sniff sniff over here for a few minutes, and then I don't exactly know how far we're going. Cause I gotta get the other dog out yet. I gotta get the video uploaded. Gotta get a shower, and then try to let these guys get to bed with mom. So <clears throat> with Terry, so they can you know be calm and quiet, and I can go to work after visiting with my mom. I don't know if we're doing breakfast or not. I can't pay for it, unfortunately. And another monkey in the wrench there is. One of my pay and four PayPal's is coming out tomorrow. So instead of being now just $8 short, I'm another $30 short. I, and I don't think I can switch that over to my, to my Apple card. I think that has to be bank account. I can look and see if I can switch it, but I don't think I can. Sniffy, sniffy, sniffy. Gotta get in these bushes and sniff them. Gotta smell all the other doggies. And all the other doggies. The other funny thing was when it, Tim and I were talking about the uh, battery, the DJI battery handle that they came out with this year. And um, when I went to research it, Telzin's the one that first comes up, not the DJI one, at least on eBay. When you go on to Amazon, obviously, they have a deal with DJI and they have the store and all that. Um, <clears throat> but the rem Bluetooth remote, uh, it fit on there on the Telson handle just, it fit. I mean, you could put the longer strap on. I don't think you'd need to. I mean, it was tight. The Velcro is really amazing on this strap. So if anybody was wondering about the Telson with the Bluetooth remote, yes, you can wrap it around there. Now I did it where it was sitting on the flat edge because it's, you know, it's not round. It's more of like a rectangle with, you know, curved sides, but it, uh, no, it worked. It worked well. It uh, didn't move in, didn't move a millimeter the whole day. So made it very easy to do. I, and the Telson still gives you the telescope, not as much as the uh, action handle, but it gives you some, and I got cobwebs or something. There we go. Okay. I'm like, why am I seeing a reflection? I don't have glasses on. <laughs> Not big girl. No. <laughs> yeah, we did a little bit of low angle yesterday on the one down. I actually looked pretty cool. Uh, came out pretty good, I thought. Just be able to hold the camera down. Oop, gonna sniff the camera, gonna sniff the internet. Oh, and it was so cute. There's that little. Chihuahua Pitbull. Oh my God, was he or she so cute? I think that was a little boy. Um, 
just the happiest little little puppy, but had the had the uh, Chihuahua shake. We're sitting there going, you know, they shake like crazy. Such a cute little dog. I would have never thought. I really don't understand how that would have happened. The Chihuahua must have made it the freaking pit bull because that wouldn't go the other way at all. Got to get the Bluetooth remote back on the charger because it's not. It's like 59% right now. It was down in the teens yesterday. I accidentally left it on all the way back up and I should have shut it off. There was no need. Yeah, that tree is, like I said, it's probably 90%, maybe even further than that, bare. It was late to, late to change over. I don't think she's going to do a boom boom, mainly because she did one apparently upstairs this morning. I don't know. They got, they, everybody got up and Terry got home and I just laid in bed because not going to get a nap this afternoon. Probably relax at my mom's, but I won't get a nap. And I think I might still have a little bit of coffee in my thermos. I should check that, maybe make another pot. I don't know. Not really like I can drink a whole thermos at work. But just to be able to take a shot every once in a while is nice. Shot of coffee. And Tim did drop me off. Uh, Sam Adams Oktoberfest and Yingling's Oktoberfest. I've never had the Yingling Oktoberfest. So... I don't know. What the hell, I think I open tomorrow. So tomorrow tonight, I don't think I'm gonna have anything. <laughs> yep, I open tomorrow, and then I open on Tuesday, and then come home, and then have to go back eight to nine for a meeting. So that'll be uh, that'll be weird. But then I think I'm off Wednesday. I didn't see my other day. I didn't pay attention to my days off. Sad part is I can't use my thumb. I had to bandage it up last night. It is split so bad. Wednesday and Friday I'm off. Okay. <sighs> so open Tuesday, off Wednesday, close Thursday, off Friday, close Saturday, and then open Sunday. Love it. Love clopens. Well, at least the store, I you know, will know the store is in shape for me. <laughs> Come on, Pokey. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it's windy out here. I think we're going to just go up here and then cross back over and go home. Get your brother, hopefully, somehow. He went out potty out back, so just give him a little exercise. Yeah, hi. You love to run up on the camera, don't you? <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was just mentioning this tree the other day. Now a huge piece snapped off of the top there. I wouldn't be surprised they don't cut this one down this year because it's a hazard. If like that limb were to break off over the road, whew, that'd be bad news. All right, we got a little turd making his way down the sidewalk. Slow motion. <laughs> Everybody's a little bit sore from yesterday, I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel too bad. I feel like Tim and I benefited really well and I think the dogs did too, fresh air. Getting out of the city and getting out of the mountains. Even going up last night by my dad's, that was nice and fresh air. Unfortunately, the cloud cover kind of got into us a little bit here. We had a hard time getting the uh, the Milky Way. It just uh, it wasn't it wasn't happening with the clouds. That we we uh, saw several deer uh, on the way up, and a fox ran in front of us as well. Hey, good boy, little man. Uh, so. But I'm thinking we're going to call the vlog very early today. Um, after this walk, I think I'm just going to call it. That way it's short to render or to, to edit. And, uh, you know, going in early tomorrow morning so I can come home tonight, not have to worry about it, let them go out and go potty and then go to bed. Because uh, it was after 2 o'clock. Actually, it was going for 2.30 when I went to bed. So, I uh, don't know. You know, stayed in bed until about eight, but that's what five and a half hours, my normal. So, all right, you little man for a walk here, and then, uh, yeah, what you doing in those leaves, little dog? Mm hmm, you gonna piddle in the leaves? What are we gonna do? You gonna piddle in the leaves? Well, yeah. come on, come on, you wanna go sniff the vet? You want to sniff the vet? Come on. It's like, uh, what do you see? Come on. Come on, let's go a little further than this. Come on, buddy. You can get a little exercise today. Nothing like yesterday. 
gonna be okay. You'll be okay. Yes, you will. It's like, man, he goes, you got that damn camera in my face? That's right, we gotta get close up puppy shots. Candid puppy shots. <laughs> All right, well, one hand warmer's still going, but I think one of them I accidentally bumped up to like top temp the last night, accidentally, so that kind of drained the battery. This other one is still mildly going. Get them plugged in, get the uh, Bluetooth controller plugged in, and get it recharged for another day. So, be doing this walk in the dark tomorrow. Uh, Oh, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that whole Tuesday thing, having to go back in. That's kind of a bummer, but got to do what you got to do. I mean, I understand why he's doing it, because the college kids can't, like, they're so restricted on when they can come in. So I don't think everybody's going to be there, because I said something to one of the other associates, and they're like, huh, what? I'm not coming back at 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> well, as of right now, our Sunday is brisk and... Beautiful. I don't think it's going out of the 50s today. I don't think it did yesterday either. So, <laughs> we left up up at my dad's last night. Of course, Tim's in a t-shirt. Didn't bring a hoodie or anything. We're literally, the, the, the car thermometer started off at like, you know, 49 or something like, 48 or 49. Before we got off the mountain, it would drop to 41. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, baby. And then it was 31 this morning. So, all right, everybody, I'm going to let you go. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Stay safe, and I will see you in the morning.